Well, hello, First Baptist family. This is Lisa Tarbell sending you a message from my home. Um, many of us are homebound or have spent more time at home than we have in recent days. And so I hope you are actually enjoying maybe just the different changes in weather that we've seen in the last few days and just remembering that uh, God's beauty is all around us even when things seem a little out of control. So um, when I was asked to share some thoughts um, during this time, really the thought that came to mind first and foremost and has repeated itself often in these days is God's sovereignty. And if you're not familiar with that word, uh, you're not alone because sovereignty or being sovereign is not something that we have in our form of government here. Um, a king or a queen would be considered sovereign because they have ultimate power and control. Um, God calls himself sovereign. Um, and uh, so I had a couple of things come across my table in these last few days that reminded me of that. One was a quote from Billy Graham, if I may, I'll read. And if you're not familiar with Billy Graham, Google him because he was an amazing man of God, an evangelist, someone who shared God's love and his plan with tens of thousands of people. But he said, this was years ago, he said, God is unchanging in his love. He loves you. He has a plan for your life. Don't let the newspaper headlines frighten you. God is still sovereign. He's still on the throne. So that's a great reminder that um, that even though newspaper, um, whatever we're seeing online is is overwhelming at times that God is still in control. And the other thing that has come to me was uh, Psalm 91. I had a couple of different uh, instances where this this chapter was brought to my attention. I'm going to read just uh, the first few verses of Psalm 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he is, it is he who delivers you from the snare of the trapper and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you may seek refuge. His faithfulness is a shield. So again, God is sovereign. None of this takes God by surprise. Um, our difficulties, our fears, our uncertainties are are not an unknown to God. So when we do feel fear, and I appreciated Joel sharing that in sermon this week, that when we do feel fear, and we can, it's okay to feel those emotions, but if we rest there and linger there too long, that can be not good for us spiritually, mentally, anything like that. So a couple of thoughts that I've had, and I've tried to practice, pen a note to somebody. We have a lot of people in our realm, uh, older people, whatever, that don't have social media. There are others that do it way more than I do. So, um, But pen a note to somebody, even if they are on social media. Um, believe it or not, you can Google, you can YouTube how to address an envelope. Some of our kids, that's a lost art form. And so introducing it to them and showing them how to address an envelope and mail it, big deal. This is good stuff. Um, step outside. Even if it's raining or cold, take a breath and just um, enjoy God and, and what he's given us. Um, and so also as a healthcare provider, I just want to encourage you to continue to wash your hands, to continue to um, kind of give people the distance that they're recommending and requiring of us. I also wanted to say that even if you start having flu-like symptoms, don't run to the ER. There's only so much that um, basically we're, what we're going to be looking for in the healthcare community is treating those people who have difficulty breathing. Otherwise, it's a flu. You're going to be told to treat yourself as you would otherwise. Stay hydrated, take Tylenol rest, stay away from family members. So in this time, I just encourage you to rest, to rest in the Lord and um, to find encouragement where you can. So God bless.